Hi everybody, how are you doing today? I was walking through the garden the other day and I noticed I have a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem going on with my apple trees. I seem to have a new pest over here, the apple woolly aphid. So I want to show you guys what it looks like, how to deal with it, and uh, all that kind of stuff. But the first thing I'm going to do is get all these little cages off all of my trees that I have up for the uh, deer and we'll take a look. Okay, so here we are. If you look at my tree, we've got these nice little fuzzy clusters. Have some down here. And some of the old cut wounds from when I uh, pruned earlier. All right, I'm gonna get all the rest of my trees unwrapped. I actually, this stuff is actually kind of here and there and everywhere in the garden. So let me get all of the trees ready and we'll deal with this stuff. All right, so what are you gonna to use to uh, treat these little guys? Well, me personally, I'm gonna use neem oil. This is really good for aphids and uh, this is just a specific type of aphid uh, common to apple trees. And uh, you can also use insecticidal soap. And if you're not organic, you can use any of the off the shelf, you know, ortho garden, uh, garden products. It's uh, made for vegetables and fruits. But uh, this is uh, the organic choice I'm gonna use personally and uh, we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I will come back and try insecticidal soap next time. So what are these little critters? Well, they're literally just aphids. They're all climbing in there, chewing around and uh, basically biting into the plant. And uh, slurping all of the, uh, slurping out of the sap, out of the bark. All right, so let's uh, find all of our little spots and uh, get them a nice squirt of neem oil. You gotta look around, they're kinda hiding here and there in little pockets, so you just gotta be a little thorough, and this is probably gonna take more than one application. Okay, now here's the thing. This, these branches down here are probably too low for me to use long term for the structure of this plant. I don't think I want to grow with that one and look how infested that is. I think on this particular one, I'm just going to cut this sucker right off and get them right the heck out of there because I don't picture using that as one of the main branches for this tree as it grows. Here we go. All in here is another pretty big hefty colony. Oh, let's change the sprayer over. A little bit wider. Here we go. Much better. All right, I'm just going to keep searching. I got a whole bunch of trees to check, and it's important also, uh, these can also infect, uh, I know for sure, pear trees, but also a few others. So make sure you check uh, any neighboring fruit trees, actually. All right, I've got all my cages put back together and I use this opportunity to take a couple pieces of extra fencing I had laying around, uh, scraps from other stuff, and kind of give the trees a little more room to breathe. That way the, the deer aren't going to be nibbling right the leaves right through the, uh, through the edge of the cage, hopefully. They could plow them down if they tried hard, but shh, don't tell. All right, well, that's about it. There's not much more to it than that. Uh, it is important to note these things do retreat from the tree back down into the soil and they'll live on the roots over the winter. So now that I know that I have them, I do expect that it's gonna be a recurring problem. There's probably zero chance I'm gonna be able to eliminate all of them, but I do know what to look for and hopefully so do you and uh, know how to treat it. And uh, also one thing to point out, my trees are still little tiny trees. So a little squirt bottle of neem oil definitely makes sense at this point but it's not gonna be long when these trees start to get five or six feet tall and have a much larger canopy. Something like a pump sprayer and insect insecticidal soap will make a whole lot more sense. But that's about it. I hope this is uh, at least helpful to some of you and uh, thanks a lot for watching as always. And I'll talk to you soon.